Well, yeah, folks, after a little bit of canoodling and playing around, I finally got this baby to go. Looks like a spaceship. So I finally got the chicken in there, in the rotisserie. And when I first put it in, it wouldn't go. The machine wouldn't work at all. So I took the chicken out, let the thing sit for a while, and then come out again and pressed a few buttons, and away she went. So now, the chicken is rotisserating. It's not touching the top, it's just slightly touching the bottom, but it's still moving, so I'm going to slightly season it now, and then uh, give it the cooking time. It's 200 degrees at the moment, as uh, I had it on 25 minutes. Here we are now. I've just lightly seasoned, nothing special. Extra virgin olive oil. And the two Mrs. Dashes. And the chicken salt free and the garlic and herb salt free. And then one of my favourites is the uh, garlic pepper. And I've taken the wings off because they just flop around. I can cook them later separately. So now, we're going to get this baby off again. And there she goes. So at the moment, everything is fine. It's rotisserating. I put a rubber band around there. I should have put some baker's twine. She's starting to stick a little bit. But we'll see how that goes. Got it going. 200 degrees for another hour, so I reckon it will take an hour. And it's still rotisserating. I notice the light comes on and then goes off and comes back on again. I was wondering if it had a sensor on it and it's come on when you got close to it. I think the secret is on off, you press on, off, on, off, but when you want it to start, you hold your finger on it hold it down for a couple of seconds and away she goes. So all right, we'll come back later and see what we got. Well there are folks, it's coming up in one minute to go and it's the aroma, mmm, yum. Fresh roast, rotisserated chicken. Now this has been on for one hour and 20 minutes at 200 degrees centigrade. So, I'm going to test it and see what the temperature is. I might as well stop it now. So, all we do is lift the lid. Oh, yum. Alright, we'll put the gauge in. And see what we get. I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't think this would work, but it has. I'm pleased. That's only up to 170. I reckon it needs another half an hour. Yeah. So I. Yeah. I've got it on for another 25 minutes and she's right this way. Oh yeah, time's up. Ooh, yum. So, <laughs> temperature. She's up to 80. Needs to go up to a little bit more. I reckon another 10 to 15 minutes to be on the safe side. According to this, yep. So, okay, start again. On, menu, 10 degree 25. Rotisserie. Oh, where she goes. I've got this sorted out now. 
So another 25 minutes that will definitely be done. So we'll be back then to try some chicken out. There we are folks, the time has just gone off. Let's have a look. Ooh. It looks nice. nice. She's cooked. Let's have a look. Slowly going up. It needs to be uh, what's that, 90 degrees. Still taking its time to get up there. Yeah, yeah that's better. Gone into the breast. Oh, that's right. That's gone right up. Okay. Now, yeah, that's what these are for. I was just watching the YouTube video, so. Lift them up. And there we go. Here's the residue. Now this is a definitely a winner. I've got visions of cooking the lamb in there, pork, all sorts of things. And maybe next time I get it, maybe a smaller, just a slightly smaller chicken. This one was, I don't know what size it was, it was nearly seven dollars but you can pick them up for about five dollars all right we'll come back shortly when it's cooled down a bit and i'll slice a bit off there we are folks beautiful just made one incision in the breast perfectly cooked so it's definite winner so that's the 10 litre kogan here for a they tissue chicken. More to come.